Well, today, several Democratic presidential candidates are addressing the future of the federal courts. The Our Rights, Our Courts Forum, hosted by our very own Stephanie Rule, it just wrapped up in Concord, New Hampshire, ahead of Tuesday's crucial primary there. And joining me right now is my colleague, MSNBC Stephanie Rule. Stephanie, great to see you here. I heard a lot of the conversation in bits and pieces. What issues did you tackle? What, what stands out most from what you heard from the candidates? The importance of the courts, because here's the thing, Alex, I haven't heard much about it during this campaign season, have you? The person we hear about it the most from is the president. Last November, President Trump said, when you are president, the number one job is federal judges. And the thing is, he's delivered two Supreme Court justices, 178 federal court judges, and 50 circuit court judges. That is a dream for part of the president's base, specifically evangelical Christians, and it is not something we have heard Democrats talk about very much on the campaign trail. They did start to have that conversation in last night's debate, but today it was four hours. I sat one-on-one -on -one with eight candidates to speak specifically about our judicial system and what lies ahead. Take a look. What gives you hope, literally, that in the future things won't just be political? You can't change Congress. Sure we can. If you, we can't, hold on. You being elected president of the United States is not going to change Congress. If we can't change Congress, we're screwed. We should not have lifetime appointments for Supreme Court justices anymore. There's a complete difference between secret dark money acting on behalf of corporations and open money taking on the fights. They are taking us to the mat. They are kicking our ass. Have you not noticed? The attitude about guns has changed in America. And right now, I think in, I know, I don't think, I know, in my state of Vermont, a rural state, people want strong gun safety legislation. We cannot allow the other side to caricature our support for women's reproductive rights as some extreme position, it's not. Everyone should be able to see the Supreme Court when they make decisions about your rights. When you've got a tilted Supreme Court and a tilted court system, we gotta start putting a lot more emphasis on what we can do through Congress. What's been the most damaging ruling, in your opinion, since 2016? Well, let's see, Citizens United was before 2016, but the voting rights decision. From overturning Citizens United to packing the courts in their own way and really kind of learning from Mitch McConnell's game, those Democrats had a lot to say. Yeah, they absolutely did. And I'm so glad you put that compilation together because I had you up in my office. I was watching, 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 but you gave the voters a good taste of what each one brought. Thank you for that discussion, Stephanie Rule. Appreciate it.